Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these fairy jars and these came out so cute Like I just love the way that these came out and they're actually not that hard to make but they do take a little bit of time um, Also stick around until the end of the video because I will be giving one of them away So if you want details on that, that'll be at the end of the video But for now, I'm going to show you guys how to make these so let's get started Alright guys, so for this DIY you are going to need one mason jar, some moss, a roll of twine, white acrylic paint one tea light, an exacto knife, one fairy printout, and I printed mine onto cardstock, that way it was a little bit thicker and more durable. Um, if you guys want to know where to get these fairy cutouts, I'll put a link to them in the description of this video. A hot glue gun, glue sticks, a sponge, some fake ivy, and a pencil. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your mason jar, sponge, and paint, and we have to paint the inside of the jar. So in order to do this, just put a little bit of paint on a piece of paper, dip our sponge in it. And it's actually, it might be easier just like cover your whole sponge, shove it into the jar and just shake it. That's what I did. Alright, so once you've got most of it covered, you can see that there's like some parts down here that haven't been hit with the sponge. So that's when I take the pencil and just use the sponge, or use the pencil to push the sponge down into those spots that I haven't gotten yet. So once the inside of the jar is fully coated, you can just set that down and that'll have to dry for about 30 minutes. All right, so while your jar is drying, you can use your X-Acto knife to cut out your um, fairy cutouts. And I actually already cut out this one um, for this tutorial. I just wanted to cut it out before because it actually does take kind of a long time to cut out all of these pieces of the wings and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be using this fairy for this tutorial. So once the inside's completely dry, we're going to be adding the moss. So depending on what size jar you have, um, that'll determine how much moss you want. But we just have to place it around the entire bottom. So I'm going to use about this much. Put some hot glue onto the bottom and then put the moss in on top of that. And then you can also use the pencil to push down the uh, moss. Once you have the moss in there, the next step is to glue the fairy onto the inside of the jar. So if your jar has a logo on it, you don't want to glue it onto that side. You want to glue it onto the side that's plain. So we're going to be using this side. All right, and to do this, I just put a little hot glue onto the fairy, just all over. And then just glue her right on the inside. So it should look like this. She's glued onto the side of the jar, see? So if you want like some other um, shadows besides the fairy, you can take one of your pieces of ivy and just push it down into the jar like this. And the leaves will press up against the side of the jar and it'll create shadows of leaves. All right, once that's done, we're gonna add the ivy on the outside and the twine. So just put your cap on and then get your roll of twine and you can do as much or as little as you want. Like with, with these ones, I wrapped it around a few times so it's like a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna use, I don't know, like I would say like a yard of twine. So with this, we're just gonna wrap it around the jar. And then you have to stick your ivy on the side and just intertwine it in your, intertwine it into your twine. Um, <laughs> and then just keep going. And then tie a little bow. And then you can move this, like just scoot it over and then just take one piece and just tuck it under if you want it to be more like wrapped around the jar. So it should look like this when you're finished. The last step is to just open it up and add your tea light. And you're done. So this is what it should look like when it's all finished. You can also spray paint the tops of these um, mason jars if you guys don't like the color. Or um, even for this one, I didn't use a mason jar. This used to be like a uh, raspberry jam. And so the jar obviously has like, you know, it says like refrigerate after opening. And, like, so I need to spray paint this lid, but um, you can also spray paint like these lids full. This one came with the gold lid, and I think I like the gold lid the best, but um, you guys can 
take that extra extra step and spray paint the lids if you want to do that as well. Alright, so I closed my blinds so hopefully you guys can see these a little bit better. This is the one that we just made. So this is what it looks like when it's a little bit darker in my room, I guess. Um, but they are really cute and they do come out really nice. Alright guys, so that is the step-by-step -step on how to make these fairy jars. Like I said earlier, I am going to be doing a giveaway. Um, so to enter the giveaway, please be subscribed to my channel, but I am going to be doing the giveaway over on Instagram. So head over to my Instagram and find the photo of these jars and leave me a comment letting me know um, some future DIY ideas. So I know Halloween is coming up and if you guys have a certain costume that you want me to make or any other DIY ideas, please let me know. I'll be choosing the winner and sending them this jar, but I will also be doing the DIY video that they requested. That's all the details on the giveaway. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I really like doing these DIY videos for you guys and doing the giveaways, but I can't keep doing them unless, unless you guys subscribe. So please help me out and please subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys soon in my next video. All right, bye guys.